How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Clout, the YouTube show where you subscribe for the latest and greatest in cryptocurrency news. Today, I'm very excited to be talking about Electronium. So when we talk about Electronium, especially in the current cryptocurrency climate, I think that it's important to bring up a lot of really substantial variables that are going to be playing into Electronium's favor, I believe, uh, as Electronium has done a really significant job uh, how they've brought branded themselves in my opinion i think that electronium definitely does have a good concept of where things are going to be functioning as far as uh the movement forward when we talk about things like mobile mining and how it's actually going to be looking um when we have uh something like mass adoption of cryptocurrencies uh you now the concept of uh the um you know mobile mining is really sort of right next door and um right now uh what with the situation that we've been seeing um unfolding involving the various different app stores and the way that they've uh, subsequently responded um in accordance to uh the sort of uh the new birth of this uh, next it realistically it's an uh, it's a paradigm shifting event um with having people all around the world uh mobile mining um and when you talk about about, uh, mining up until this point I think that it's also something to be said when you talk about the uh, what mining has been up until this point and what it's going to be um, when realistically we see things um, that are similar to the technology that has been demonstrated by the mobile mining capabilities that Electronium puts forth uh, on top of that uh, I think that when we um, you know, look at these different variables compiling on top of one another um, something that really uh, makes uh, a lot of people's eyes light up um, with uh, uh, the possibilities the realistically a lot of uh, limitless possibilities that lie ahead uh, in particular when you consider the massive amount of computing power um, that's in people's pockets as more and more people all around the world are um, getting adept with uh, this sort of internet uh, the entire thing of uh, the uh, cyberspace and the society moving to the internet um, and I think that electronium is stands to really be um, in a good position when uh, that sort of thing continues to take off so uh, I was looking at a lot of the different um, you know the different news articles as one might do when uh, researching a video on something uh, like electronium and right off the bat um, this article right here by our crypto briefing talking about how electronium wants to be the next PayPal um, I think that that's logically um, that does make sense and I think that as things move forward I've, with all these different partnerships that we've been seeing with electronium um, the idea of uh, Electronium being a sort of a uh, PayPal because look you have to think about the concept of uh, how much of a game changer this sort of thing actually is the computing power um, the decentralized capabilities of the fact that somebody could be in one area of the world and mine Electronium uh, and I, I also one of the other things um, you know mining in your smartphone um, just enter the random code uh, I mean it's interesting um, and it's it's that simple so I mean anybody all around the world can do that and you know what I mean so it's definitely going to be an interesting um, ride um, to see these variables as they've been culminating um, and uh, they're definitely interesting to see um, on top of everything uh, you know coinbase um, this talk I mean obviously people are usually advocating for their favorite cryptocurrencies to be added on the coinbase but I think that electronium with its solid community that's uh, standing behind it uh, I think that it is a good uh, well I really want to definitely take this opportunity as well in this video we're going to be exploring a lot of the different um, intricacies and variables that are going to um, ultimately result in uh, a lot of interesting things um, in the long run uh, you know in particular when you consider how early in the game we are right now as it is 2018 2019 is right around the corner um, and all these different things are definitely um, really it's happening very quickly but at the same time um, it, it does it is a slow um, process when all these different variables on an international scale um, are going to be really culminating and in, in coming together and having to come to an agreement um, and ultimately I think that that's a good segue into the conversation regarding regulations um, and how we're definitely going to have to see a lot of developments in that realm um, in particular especially with the market where it is at 203 definitely been seeing a pattern um, that forming um, you know obviously cryptocurrency is very un, un, unforgiving and unpredictable um, and especially unforgiving to people who make predictions but I mean it definitely you, anybody 
um, can see that it's been moving sideways, uh, and we've really, I mean, but uh, quite frankly, uh, I could definitely see the uh, market cap dropping down, um, you know, to 199 um, before it really gets going again. But uh, we definitely do have to take into consideration. I mean, we are at a vital, um, at a really interesting point right now. We're actually, um, if you look at where we were last year, um, as far as cryptocurrency, this was actually right around the time. Um, if you remember, it was early November when we saw things really shooting to the moon. And then, of course, last year, we're going on January 6th, we're going to be having um, uh, uh, yeah, basically the one year anniversary of when we were seeing cryptocurrency at its all time highs. Um, so it's definitely interesting to see uh, the uh, a year has gone by since we were seeing the $20,000 Bitcoin. Um, and of course, uh, you know, I, I think that it's interesting to see like the, the John Mick Cafe um, predictions and all these different things. Uh, it's always interesting to look um, at the culmination of the variables and really uh, have that window back to see. I mean, obviously, some of my predictions that I've made are um, all together the greatest predictions in the world. But then again, you know, you're right sometimes, you're wrong sometimes. I think that it's important for people to be putting their opinions out there nonetheless. Um, but yeah, this, I think, um, I think that as far as uh, the branding goes, uh, Electronium really uh, establishing themselves uh, like PayPal, um, that's a good start. I think that that's a very good, um, PayPal's really um, had a lot of success as a service. Um, so, I mean, blockchain, um, mobile mining, um, instant payments, uh, 2 million registered users. Um, I mean, it is very interesting things happening. And, um, you know, the wallets going live um, that will, are subsequently live um, and all these different things. Uh, I mean, and I think that Electronium definitely does have um, a really big uh, role to play um, as far as uh, these different things are going to be moving forward. And uh, I think that this whole idea of uh, you know, where we're going to be seeing these technologies taking us, um, it's definitely exciting so um, you know, definitely comment down below letting us know what you guys think about uh, Electronium and I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and with all that being said, I'm actually really excited to have this opportunity to talk to you guys right now because I'm sure that my audience is pretty well um, in the know as far as the uh, most relevant uh, cutting edge information about these um, different technologies has been moving forward. And I think that it's definitely a great time for me to use uh, this platform for something good for a change. Um, and I think that um, getting Electronium on Coinbase would definitely be uh, a really great milestone um, for all the progress that we've been seeing um, for all the different uh, you know this YouTube channels come such a long way um, you know, we've met so many great people along the way um, you now and we're excited to see things um, developing and moving forward so I mean it's all it's all developing right in front of our eyes um, you know electronium price moves um, you know in uh, courtesy of uh, system coin and e um, you know e-commerce I definitely think that uh, this system coin um, this is going to be be a definitely an interesting development um, along with a lot of these different um, partnerships that we've been seeing um, so I'm certainly excited to be seeing where all cryptocurrencies are going to be going um, in particular as far as uh, with seeing um, all these different variables compiling on top of one another I mean certainly um, you know everybody could see plainly that we did take uh, a little bit of a dip earlier this week um, but I mean it's all fair I'd say in the world of cryptocurrency what's a couple percentages among friends um, but yeah all that being said So for some reason on the social blade, they're giving me a C plus. Uh, I guess that's a passing grade. Uh, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody who's been subscribing to the channel and um, helping us uh, move forward into the uh, YouTube algorithm and be, uh, you know, hopefully one day we'll reach 100,000 subscribers on this channel. So, um, you know, really it's a shout out to everybody who's uh, made all these things happen, um, you know, and sharing the content around and subscribing and all that stuff. It definitely does mean a lot. It keeps us going. Um, um, you know, and all that being said, remember uh, this video is for entertainment, educational purposes only. Um, you know, this video is uh, obviously uh, I'm not your dad, so I mean, you know, make sure that you uh, you know make your own decisions and you know find your own sources of information and all that stuff. But if you're interested in connecting with us, asking any questions or any suggestions, you guys can contact us on Twitter. That's uh, at CryptoTuber. And um, yeah, I know not nobody uses Twitter anymore, but I still do. Um, you know, so happy to um, you know connect with anybody out there who is still using Twitter. Um, but all that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this. This content and I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one